All right, so here we're looking at uh, activity one in 1.3. Each of these shapes has the unique characteristic that its area is equal to its perimeter. So that allows me to set up an equation that looks like this. Area, here's an expression for the area, three times x is the area, is equal to an expression for the perimeter, which would be two x plus six. Okay, this problem, is different from other problems that we've worked on because there's a variable on both sides of the equation. That's the only difference. Now, I don't like that there's a variable on both sides of the equation, so I'm going to change it. I'm not going to subtract 6. That wouldn't help me. But I am going to subtract 2x's. Let's subtract 2x's from both sides. That's going to help me. 3x minus 2x, well, that leaves me with just 1x. 2x minus 2x is 0. It canceled out. I'm left with 6. And the 1 is redundant. It doesn't do anything. So I can rewrite this x is equal to 6, and that is my answer. Now, this problem, it wanted you to use the value of x to find the perimeter and the area of each figure. And that's kind of what I'm going to do to check my work. So these last two kind of go together. If I think that x is 6, why don't I come up here and write that in there? 6. And up here, I know this side would also be 6. And I know over here, this side is 3. So what's the perimeter? Well, 3 plus 6 plus 3 plus 6, you add that up and you get 18. There's my perimeter. Area is length times width, or base times height. 3 times 6, 6, 12, 18, that's also 18. So I know that I didn't make a mistake. The area is equal to perimeter, that's how I checked my work. Okay. Um, let's look at this part E on the back. Let's look at part E. I'm going to do this problem exactly the same as the other problems. This composite figure it's just, there's going to be a little more to it, but it's the same idea. I want to start off with area is equal to perimeter. That's how I want to start. Now the area, well, I'm just going to look at these two different pieces and add them together. This small rectangle, 1 times 2, that would give me the area, that's 2. That's got an area of 2. The area of this big rectangle, well, 3 times x is 3x. The area of this bigger one is 3x. So the whole area of the composite figure is 2 plus 3x. Okay, that's not so bad. Now I need an expression for the perimeter. Well, to do that, I should probably make sure I label the sides that aren't labeled. So since this is a rectangle, I know up here I have x. And since this is a rectangle, I know right here, this has got to be 1, which only leaves this spot. And I'm going to use the fact that this big side is 3, this smaller side is 2. I know that this whole big side has to add up to a 3, so 3 minus 2, that means it leaves this little side as 1. Now I'm going to let you finish it up from here. You can come up with your own expression for the perimeter, simply adding all these pieces together and combining like terms to get your perimeter on the other side of your equation. And that's all I'm going to give you today for hints. That's it. Make sure everybody should have some work shown all the way through G. All the way through G. All right.